Hello guys and welcome back to Planet 40 Cake. Today we're going to be doing our draw for our giveaway for this Elite Box Set right here. Now thank you all because we've actually got 10,000 subscribers now so we've reached our milestone. So onwards and upwards to the next one which what, 15, 20? I don't know. But yeah, we're going to be doing our draw for this giveaway and it's going to be an uncut video. There's going to be no editing, there's going to be no cut, so if I do swear or cough I can't edit it out unfortunately. It is what it is. Now the reason for that is we're trying to make this as legit as possible. I could do this live, I just don't think I'm ready for live, I'm not confident enough for live. So we're just going to do this as an uncut version, do the draw at the very end. So that way if I was to fix the draw, get, get my friends to win it or whatever, I would have to redo this entire segment of 15 minutes and then have a chance of what? I don't know how many people are in this in fact, there's probably about three to 400 entries. The odds of getting somebody I want to win to actually win would be ridiculous, I'll be here all day. So we're not going to be doing that, but we are going to be doing 10 to 15 minutes. I've got a little list here of what we're going to be talking about. I've got an announcement. You may have seen that in the actual thumbnail. We're going to talk about the other channels we've got as well. We're going to do a little model tour. Now, I did that in the Christmas giveaway, but I didn't really go through the models thoroughly. I just kind of went to the windows at the back of the studio. So we're going to go a little bit more in depth with that. We're going to talk about 10th edition. And we're going to read a few of the comments that were on the video before actually revealing the winner. So, in fact, I've just had a little brain fart there. Let's get on with it. Right, so intro is done. Announcement. So, on the thumbnail, you saw there was a new logo with a blue Planet 40k logo. And that is because we are going to be opening a Space Marine channel. Planet 40k Space Marines. It's not open yet, so you're not going to be able to find it right now. I've already filmed about three or four videos, I believe. And at the moment, they're just all lore videos. We're kind of waiting for 10th edition to get into the tactics, just like we're going to be doing with the Necrons. Just like we're going to be doing with the Tyranish channel that we've got, we're going in hard with the tactics, going in hard with the reviews, with the bite sized stuff, list builds, you name it, we're going hard on it. At this moment, it's a little bit of a lull process, we're kind of just waiting for news, and Mr. You Know Who always gets the news first, so I'm not going to beat him to the punch of that. Every now and then I do, but really, I'm just waiting for 10th edition. Next note. Du -du 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 -du. Yeah, members area, guys. In fact, we, yeah, skip that. There's something else we've just missed there. We're going to be opening yet another channel after this as well. Now, if you were a member or if you have been a member on the YouTube members area, you will know what that channel is going to be. If you're not, unfortunately, you're going to have to wait. Now, if this, does go, if this does go ahead, it may not go ahead. But if it does, it won't be me hosting that channel. There'll be someone else hosting it. And little clue, it's not Tau. I do collect Tau, but it's not going to be me hosting it. It's not Tau. So, unfortunately, don't get your hopes up if you are a Tau player. But yeah, there's going to be another channel, and there's going to be even more later on down the line. We're going to hopefully get a bit of an umbrella going of all the channels, of all the factions, and then maybe one hub channel where we can kind of come together with news, rather than me doing the news release for every single channel, which I have been doing in the past few weeks, and it's it kind of doesn't make sense. Like, we had something on the Warhammer community page recently where they introduced how the new weapons are going to work, and I did a video on the Necrons channel, did okay. Did a video on the Tyranish channel, and it was kind of a repeat video, but I was talking about different units. I'd rather do like a hub, a channel as a hub, so I can kind of just relay the news as one video. I'll get less views, but that's fine. More time for me to get on with reviews. Right, that's the plugs out the way, I believe. Let's do a little tour, I think. Let me get out of my seat, and let's keep this going. We're not going to cut this, we get the handle. Hold it like that for now. Let's get to the back of the studio. <clears throat> right, this is the towel window. As you can see, nothing is painted. In fact, let me flip this round so I can actually see what I'm doing. This is the towel window. Nothing is painted. There's, there's a lot of stuff that hasn't been glued because I need to magnetize quite a lot of stuff because, yeah, towel has a lot of different range weapons. And when you compare them to Necrons, there's a lot of different like, options. So there's a lot of stuff yet to be done and I've got a lot of stuff still in boxes, loads of broadsides, battle suits, what else got there, that's the Riptide as well, commanders, yeah there's quite a lot to get stuck into, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of regret buying this stuff, I didn't realise how big of a, a time sink it's gonna be for magnetising stuff, let alone painting it, but it is what it is, I had the urge impulse to buy it and I've done so. Soon is this is kind of my 8th edition stuff here, so again it's not fully painted because I wasn't I didn't even have a channel at that point. 
I was doing the Kraken High Fleet, so I've got my Karn effects here. As you can see, I don't know if the lighting is showing in there or not. Got my Karn effects here, I've got all the Termagants, all my bugs, Biovores. And these two models are not mine, but yeah, there's some of the bigger stuff over there as well. I'll leave the Necrons till last because it's a. Uh, Get the suspense going, I suppose. Right, this stuff I didn't really get a chance to even start painting apart from these two here, as you can see. Um, so it's just been sprayed really and quite thickly as well because I kind of didn't care. Again, I didn't even have a channel, so I just kind of did what whatever I had to do to get them on the battlefield. So we don't really need to get too involved in Tyranids. Uh, Space Marine stuff. This has had another thickly coated army because they were red i was doing blood angels then they went orange i was trying to do planet 40k style marines didn't really like the color scheme so i've just gone silver this is before realizing i was going to carry on my necrons in silver i'll explain that in a moment that's the only one i've sort of semi done but even that is not really finished at all is it i've just not had the time to get involved with space marines that's the first window of the space marines anyway although this stuff isn't really mine it is just being stored here. There's a lot of stuff again. Centurions, Eliminators, Terminators. There's a lot of gear in there. And hopefully when we start doing battle reports at some stage, we're going to have a lot of models to play with. Let's go over to this side. Ooh, let's move the chair a bit. A little bit, there we go. Demons. None of this is mine. This is the person I play the most. He's a demon player. He's got all of his, he's got Abaddon, the Bloodthirsters. Velocor, Blood of Soul Grinders, Demon Princes. There's another Blood First, the he's got a lot of um he's got a lot of models. I think he's got the fate is it the word fate weather? Something big is at home at the moment getting painted. And all the troops are in fact down there in tubs because you just get so many demons. But yeah, that's other stuff. Let's talk about Necrons, that's the stuff that you wanna see. I've got a couple of ghost arts here. I've been proxying, well not proxying, so I've been using other people's ghost arts for my ghost art spam. Um, in fact, let me explain this. So I've gone to go in silver with my Necrons. You'll see, in fact, I might be able to show you in a moment. I'm changing all the gold stuff to silver because you can't see it very clearly on the camera. It's kind of hard to see. Um, they don't look that great anyway. I'm not the best painter in the world by any stretch. But I think I'm just going to keep it basic and go in silver. I've just sprayed up some Praetorians, so they're just basically black at the moment. Camera, 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 kinda. They're not they're not painted anyway. Um so yeah, these are these warriors are gonna get done again, so that's what they were like. You can see them a little bit there to be fair. Once a little bit of light hits them, you can see them. Um what we got? Flayed ones, which were a little bit annoying to paint. We've got the Death Marks, and we've got the Immortals, and the Lich Guard. I tell you what, these models, the amount of times these swords come off, it's unreal. I must have fixed, come on focus, I must have had to fix these things once a week at least. These swords just come out of place, and I'm just forever gluing Lich Guard. In fact, there's one on the table now that's broke. The Monolith that I've resprayed, yeah, nothing really else to see there. My lovely forts, which I need to paint up. Scorpec Destroyers, get a bit of light in there I suppose, you can see that just about. Uh, my Destroyer, Locust Destroyers, and the Locust Heavy Destroyers. These are another model that I think are just not very thought out. The stands just never seem to stay on. Well, they, they always break, don't they? I don't know if you've had the same problem, guys, but the stands on these are just not strong enough to hold the model. So I've just resorted to you know, gluing them on the, on the actual base because they're gonna break eventually. Uh, that's my second command barge, which is also an annihilation barge. Just waiting to magnetize that. That is the command barge. Some random characters there. This focus just needs to. That's it. Stay focused. Stay focused. Scorbet dish. Straight uh, lord, even. Silent King. Didn't get round to painting him, but I got these guys. What well, these? Truckleman is done, um, but it's a shame I'm going to be doing them all silver, so I'm going to have to go over those. Nightbringer up there, I made a bit of a mess of him by putting this purpley colour on, but hey, probably have to redo him again. 
Katarn Shard. Where are we? Imitech. Trike Stalker. All the Wraiths. How many Wraiths have I got? Six Wraiths there. Three Canoptic Spiders. I've got 12 Scarabs. Let's get in there a little bit. I've got that stupid Doomstalker that needs to be, be much improved for 10th edition. And a few more. Let me get this obelisk out of the way a moment. Load of Cryptex. Chronomancer, Technomancer, Plasmancer, Cryptus Rolls, Hexmark Destroyers, and the Bookend. He's hiding away down there. It's probably really dusty around him because he just hasn't moved. Doom Scythe, Night Scythe. I think that gun comes off. And the Obelisk, which I love, but this was probably out of everything here. This was the worst model to glue. Absolutely hated it. It's... Uh, the instructions manual is it's ancient. It doesn't make sense. And yeah, I'm not going to tell you where I've messed up with it, but it looks okay for now. But yeah, absolute pain in the ass to glue. GW, I don't like you for that. £100 model as well, £100 to get it wrong. But anyway, so yeah, that is my... I suppose that's my Necron, the, the models I own anyway, in terms of Necrons. It's got bits of random terrain in the drawers if you're wondering, not that one because there's nothing in that one. Trees, craters, all that gear, hills and stuff like that. What's in this one? All my ruins are down here. I think these are empty. Yeah, that's just an empty one, ready for something else. Uh, what else we got to show? Um, fat mats, more terrain. Yeah, that's kind of. You, you've already seen the studio before. In fact, you have to ignore these WWE figures because my son decided to break a few bits, so I'm gluing them up for him on a glue-up job. There's the Lich Guard with the stupid swords that just constantly break. I've got another one on the mend, and I've started making some silver ne uh, Necrons, but I'm just messing around with the guns at the moment because I didn't like the way they looked. I don't know if you can see that. That might make it worse, that light, I'm not sure. But yeah. That's where we're at at this moment. And that's me on the screen. Hello. Right. Let me get you back into position. Because this is uncut. Right, I'm back again. That's the tour. I feel like I'm out of breath. I shouldn't be out of breath on that. What's going on? I have been ill for like nearly a month now. It's been ridiculous. I just sort of got back on the mend. Then I busted my ribs up. You guys in the Discord know about it. I've just had a, a horrific couple of months now. So I'm, yeah, still back on the mend-ish. But I'm sure something else will come along and do me in. So, model tour. We talked about painting. We talked about how I'm turning everything to these the silver colour scheme. I might change the green to orange to match the Planet 40k logo just kind of playing around with that at the moment because I want to do some painting tutorials, speed paint tutorials and I want to get them on the channel. So that's what that idea is about and to get them done for battle reports as well. So in fact let's get onto the, let me get onto the video for a moment, I don't know if you, I just want to read some comments, I'm going to keep you on obviously we're not going to cut this, I just want to read a couple of comments out just to see where we are. So we've got, where are we, da, 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 da. am I even on the right video? Yes I am, yes I am. Uh, Angel Wings, I really appreciate you for being so kind and always and always giving your love to the supporters. You're an amazing person. We'd love to see more. That's a report. Thank you very much, Angel Wings. Who else we got? Johnny Boy, love the content and how in-depth you are with Necrons. Hope you branch out further with just Necrons and the series in the future. Didn't say what you wanted though. Or did ya? Hope you branch out. Oh, I suppose so. I'll let you off. And who else we got going off here? Love you. Some people are just commenting and it's like, ah, that's not going to get you into the competition. Unless they've got another comment, we'll have to work that out if there's a duplicate comment block. Hmm, that might be a problem actually. Uh, Brian Lowe, I'd love to see a series where you build a list and play a game with it for an action report on the list. Not a bad idea. Uh, who else we got? Keegan Patrick, we'd love to see some bat reports. Yeah, there's a lot of bat reports. I mean, skimming through it, I've already looked through most of them. I do need to go through them all again, more thoroughly. There's a lot of bat report suggestions. There's a lot of list building, a lot of collabs, lore, uh, painting tutorials. 
And of course, just getting back into 10th edition with the Necron reviews and bite size, well, tactics, I suppose. So there's a lot of that, and yeah, we're definitely going to be doing pretty much all those things. The only thing that I'm slightly concerned about is the battle reports, because I need to get everything painted, or most of it painted, to get on the battlefield, and then have everything set up for it. I was hoping to be ready for 10th, but unfortunately, yeah, repainting my whole army at probably the worst time is slowing things down, especially when we're opening more channels as well. But we'll see, hopefully we get there. Um, so I don't know how long we've been going for now. Can I check this? I don't know if I can check this. We'll just have to, can I check it on the screen? Nope, can't check it on the screen either. So in that case, we're just gonna get on with the draw, I guess. Just double checking my list in case there's anything else. No, let's get on with the draw. Right, so this screen should be getting recorded here. So what I've done is I have copied and pasted the YouTube video link. And hopefully I'll be on the top of your screen on a different camera just to synchronize that. Uh, include replies to comments. No, filter duplicate users. Now, if a comment has been drawn and it's not a comment that's suggesting something for the channel, I'm going to check if they've made a duplicate comment because maybe they've already made an entry and then done another comment saying, you know, well done for 10k or something. And I don't want them to lose their original sort of entry so I will be checking that. Uh, exclude users, no nobody is going to get banned from this one. Uh, show random names, yes and so some. So we go to the YouTube comments, it will give us how many comments? 487 unique comments. Hopefully I don't win this because one of mine was a comment, it was a pinned comment, that would be really, yeah, be really awkward. Uh, it's bottom, bottom right of my screen here you can see the time and the date, 24th of April and it is 7.03 and it should hopefully say that when I do the comment raffle. So here we go, we're just going to pick it. We're going to press start, it's going to flick through a lot of comments, one of them is going to get picked. Hopefully the comment says what the entry said, what you need to say and it should say the time on it as well. So here we go. And we have got, oh how am I going to pronounce that? Balas, Balas Kalman. I'm really sorry if I butchered your name, Balas. Is that a Polish name? Z S. Not sure what. Okay, I like the channel. Informative and fun to watch. I really would like to see some of your work on the table, so my improvement potential will be more battle, be more battle reports. Yeah. Thank you and congratulations for 10k. So he subscribed, made a good comment in regards to what he wants to see, and yeah, that is your winner today. I'm not going to try and pronounce it again because I will get it wrong. But that is the winner. In fact, it says the draw date and time there, 24th of April at 7:04. Of course, it's been a minute since we've declared the time so yeah guys that is the winner for this box set so give him a little love in the comments um hopefully we'll be doing more of these don't know when maybe in the summer we'll see maybe on the other channels as well so make sure you are subscribed to the Tyrannus channel channel hello channel can't edit that out make sure you are subscribed to the Tyrannus channel and the space marine channel will be coming up at some point in the near future as well as the one that you don't know about yet so thank you guys all for watching. I've messed up my outro. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.